Guten Morgen. I slept. I woke up. I came over here. Well, I did a few things in bed before I came over here. But <clears throat> came over here, logged in. Here I am. I literally just logged in. That's why I got these recommendations and this other stuff. Now, I'm speeding through this content for for irrelevant reasons. It's stupid reasons. There's no reason to do this. So if you're if you're you ever play Final Fantasy 14, don't worry about speeding for the content. Take your time. There are going to be points where you're going to have to set aside at least an hour or so go for cutscenes. And in those cases, make sure you have the time and then if you don't, just stop. Just stop. Because they've because the nice thing about uh Final Fantasy 14, they value your time. If you're going to take the time, they appreciate you doing that. And if you don't have the time to play, then don't play. I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to get to this without pulling mobs. I don't think there is one. Oh, here you go. Totally forgot I need to raise the volume because of the VO. Lurien? Ah, war! To wield power to make men kneel before you. There is no better feeling. A pity I must share this pleasure with a feral dog of a Dothal. 
preening, Oranir. You fear that she will put the sun in shade. Those are for you. Go, claim your prey. Swiftly, brothers! Fall not behind! Make an offering of their steel to Father Azim! <laughs> they seem to be enjoying themselves. My lord, the barrier! should fall so soon. Truly, our allies seem determined to surpass each other. Hey, nothing like making a game of it, right? The Magitech hey, field is down. I know I that repeat, guy. The Magitech field is down. Confederate vessels, you are clear to advance upon the Enclave. I'm sure they're using the, this game model, but if you go the path of the ninja... Uh, the guy that they sh just showed there is the guy you meet and trades you. Uh, but I didn't go to Ninja, so that's why it seems weird. Breached. The Kojin too will not be outdone. Our allies have set the stage. Now we must take the castle. With me. I am with you. Time for me to punch some Imperial faces. Bastards. My lady, the riverside wall has been breached. The lower levels are already flooded and the water is still rising. So I gathered. He would tear the whole thing down. All for the promise of food. A noble sacrifice. Or the last desperate flamings of a fool. Speaking of which, how fares my route? The, the procedure was carried out as instructed by Lord Aulus. By all indications, it was a success. Is that so? Then he may yet be of some use. 
Devotees of vengeance should rightly pursue their cause unto the bitter end, don't you think? Their hearts aflame with passion until the last few embers fizzle and fade. The Viceroy's orders were clear. If Dormer falls, none shall be spared his wrath. Tell the men to fight as if their lives depend on it. Because they do. As you command, my lady. <laughs> Ill at ease, Imperial. Again they come to make you kneel. To make you grovel and suffer. But you have endured the worst and survived. You know their tricks? They will not find a flower simply waiting to be plucked. We establish the scene. It is time. I there can be no doubt the viceroy is trapped and so comes our part. Our cogent allies will deliver us to the our destination, to the western dock, and do not forget to bring your fellow adventurers, as it goes. In game story of things. I probably would have like if part of it was you know, bringing my party, my light party to the dungeon. I think those people would be with me. The only thing is, in game, you end up queuing for <laughs> uh, uh, popping into the uh, popping into the DD find a queue. Uh, uh, down there, this way. And getting a random uh, three other people uh, uh, taking the appropriate roles. What is this? This is 67, right? Okay. Yeah. What are my other two classes? What are my other... Ugh, God damn. What are my other two, two classes? at 66, of course. Greetings well met, my friends. Climb aboard, climb aboard. There's room enough for you all. As it goes, that you might improve our odds of success, we will divide into two parties upon arrival. One comprising of you and your venture comrades, the other Gosetsu, Yugiri, and myself. Each will enter the keep by a separate route, uh, dispatching any Imperial forces that attempt to bar their path. Even should one meet with misfortune, the other, the other will reach out to you. Agreed? Then let us be at it. For Dumma! Alright, let's pop into Duty Finder and do Dumma Castle. Alright. While we wait for this, let's, uh... Let's get, look at any of the currents. I'm looking in the young shot. Be able to get them all. No. Literally all on the south side of the map. Oh shit. I didn't realize that. The quests, which are the issues. Well, I feel silly. Based on what I'm seeing here, I should have been able to get yanked earlier. <laughs> I just didn't do it. All right, we're going to do a quick... Uh... Teleport.
Aqui no mais. It's that one. There you go. Podoma. It is quite there's quite possibility that there's going to be big pulls, which as a tank gives me anxiety, so I prefer not to do it. <laughs> but I'm not tanking, so I'll just have to, to help them make sure things everything dies.
Give the healer some help. That's a fun dance.
Oh, those are your hands. This guy's fun. No, I forgot to load up my, uh, Oh, is that a donut attack? Like, could I just be in his hitbox and not actually move out? No, I don't think it is. Mm. Not leveling any aiming.
Oh, good. Oh, no, the armor doesn't down. It was everything else. It's all my name, but he's come. Rip and tear! I think they pulled. Let's just I get blown up from the proximity. This is not a good position. At least somebody apologized that uh, uh, for starting the fight while they were, because they didn't realize they were watching the game. It's fine. You didn't miss much. The nice thing about Monk, uh, especially at this level, is that I got two charges of. Finally, we take care of that idiot. <laughs> Alright, get a look at the path. Uh, this is Red Maze Room. Just uh, that big path. Alright. See if we get any of this. Have you aught to say for yourself? For what you have done to our people? Your people? <laughs> My people, he says. The precious lordling beloved by all come to confront the wicked witch. 
My parents taught me no better. They woke me from dawn to dust like an ox or an ass or some other piece of burden. Until, that is, my brother spied a chance to transform the family fortunes. And so I was married to a vicious old drunk who beat me as he pleased. And when I pleaded for help, I was told to grin and bear it. For the family, for him, for everyone's sake. They pretended not to notice, but they knew. They knew! What did it matter? I was nothing to them. Less than nothing. I wasn't of their flesh. I wasn't a fellow Doman. I wasn't even a person. I might just as well have been dead. And then my husband passed away one day. And so I was sold off yet again to pay his debts. But this time, this time, I found a way to live for myself. To survive as a spy for the Empire. Oh, those were the days when the scales first fell from my eyes. No longer would I be a slave to my parents or my husband or the Pleasure House. I would be free and receive due compensation. That would be enough, I thought. Until I saw a doorman in the road, beaten and broken. And my heart, my heart skipped a beat. Lying at my feet, groaning in agony, sobbing in despair. Powerless, helpless, hopeless. A vision forever seared into my soul. Oh! There was nothing I would not do to feel that joy again. To bend this cruel, twisted world to my whims. Now, having borne witness to my life's work, have you all to say to me? <laughs> Twas kind of you to lend me your ear, my lord. But now it is time for us to conclude our little tete-a-tete -tete with a final game of chance. Who shall stand? And who shall fall? Let the die be cast. This was her plan from the first, to bring the keep down on our heads! I will remember your words. We must flee. Order our forces to withdraw. You still can! I cannot hold it forever! No! We will not leave you behind! Do your duty! Deliver Lord Hien and the others to safety! Now! Forthwith! I shall manage on my own!
no one leaves. Not you or anyone else. The problem with doing in-game cinematics is sometimes the, <clears throat> the expression you're trying to do, like this, this very uh, full of hatred uh, sort of thing, doesn't necessarily work so well. It looks silly. If a live person was doing it, it would look so much better. Or if you were doing it more, uh, actually, we were able to take the time out of game. But uh, hey, that's one of the the suspensions of disbelief. You you do you take you take the meaning from it, not how silly it looks. Maybe laugh at it because you can. Tis not this old frame cannot bear. Go now, all of you. The day is one, and the morrow beckons. Esigo would re respect his man and his strength. Nay, thank you for granting me new purpose and a measure of peace. Go, Setsu. You never failed us, not once. You served my father faithfully, and I am a better man for your guidance. And the Doma we built together shall be better for it too. Be proud, my friend. Be proud. I am Shun, more than you know. before it is too late. forward, Serena. That was his wish. I will deliver you to safety. The others are waiting. After getting a description of everything that happened in Doma Castle. I see. 
You're almost uh, at 70. However, the gear that I want to purchase is not available until after I complete the Stormblood quest. Which is basically, um, every time you get to the, the last of the initial launch of uh, the game, so basically the leveling, ends with a quest by the name of the expansion. I think. I'm not sure if Realm Reborn did, but um, obviously the you know, 1.0, the the original game, uh, probably didn't because all it was was just Final Fantasy XIV. It didn't really have a title. But uh, uh, the last of the 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 50 to 60 or 51 to 60 uh, leveling for. Uh, Heaven's Word, the last quest was called Heaven's Word. Um, the last quest of... Yeah, now we're, we're at Stormblood. So the last quest for this is Stormblood. So once we see the main quest scenario that the quest is Stormblood, we're on the very last quest of the initial part of the expansion. Obviously, there's more content later for the post-game. The post-game. Um, uh, but that's... Like, the Dragon Song War... That was all level 60 stuff. Um, is that... That is after Heaven's Word. All the level 70 stuff. This is after the quest called Stormblood. Uh, the, this last expansion, the last quest was the, the six, six, or 71 to 80 quest line. Sorry. From 69. 71 to 80 quest line is Shadowbringers. The name of the expansion. And then once I hit that, it unlocks the vendor, which I could spend the poetics that I'm trying to spend so that I can. <laughs> so that when I turn in my wondrous tales, I get this 500 tombstone poetics. Because if I turn this in now, I'm essentially out like 100 and some poetics. I'm trying to be efficient on this. Which is why the re reason why I'm trying to speed through this. Not sure if this is viewed. Nope, it's not. I'm gonna turn it down. Thank you. The occupation is ended then, and the people may must be informed of our victory. But I will not simply give up on Gosetsu for lost. Before aught else, we must need such ruins. Allow me, my friends. The castle is still collapsing to the river, and we could easily drag you to your deaths. I can navigate the waters easily without fear of drowning. Be reasonable, brother. You know he is right. If anything, at least... A body. Let's go word, if I may. My lord draws on into himself, unable to turn his thoughts from the keep. He needs us now more than ever. My friends, I am returned. I swam as far into the ruins as I could. And did you find him? Nay, lady, not remained of the keep for me to search. Undermined from below and shaken from above, the manner of its collapse is most unusual. If the floor beneath him gave way before the rest, it is not impossible he could have been sent tumbling into the river. But the water is thick with silt and debris. Despite my best efforts, I could not find him. I'm sorry. There is not for which you should apologize. Thank you, Soraban, for taking it upon yourself to search. The castle is in ruins, and the people are eager to learn the fate of their nation. We leave at once. Are you sure, my lord? The day is won, and the morrow beckons. It falls to us to greet it.
I'm going down to the docks to see if I can't get one of the Confederate ships to take us to the Enclave. Yep, we should tell the others at the House of the Fierce to gather there. Mingnai and Sadu uh, know not of what happened in the castle. I will go and tell them. They fought valiantly and with honor, Serna. I pray you tell them that as well. You too, my friend, are instrumental in this triumph. I must insist that you be present when we bring these tidings to my people. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. You all look like shit. The captain thought you might need a ride to the Enclave. Ready to come aboard? Let's go. On you go then and sit while you wait. I don't know what happened in there, but it's over. You won. That's cause for celebration. Those people you're about to see need something to celebrate. We brought everyone here. You were the last to arrive. I see. Thank you. We owe the Confederacy a great debt. I have waited 25 years for this moment. You owe us naught. It's Lord Hien! Lord Hien! It's him! He lives! He lives! Some few words of encouragement would not go amiss, my lord. Uh, right. Uh, yes, uh, of course. He's nervous. Yeah, as the ghost is in one for speeches. Well, then, go ahead then. <laughs> Not then. Um, uh, right, right, right. Uh, off, off I go. This is the first time he's ever really been nervous. We are a sorry lot, are we not? Tired, dirty, stinking of blood and sweat and ash. The people pushed to the point of breaking. And yet, we won. The perseverance to endure decades of oppression. The will to carry on the legacy of those we have lost. These were the bonds that held us together and gave us the strength to reclaim our home. After 25 hard years, the shadow of the Empire no longer darkens these lands, and we may at last look forward to the dawning of a new day. 
But, my friends, it will be a day of work. So I ask you, have you yet the strength to stand? To rise up with me once more, here and now, and begin to rebuild our homeland? This will not end with Doma. We will see to that. Right, Lys? Right. Indeed, this is but the beginning. The tide is turning, and it shall soon bear us back across the seas and onward and to the next battlefield. But the Domans have their celebration, and we make a uh, silent exit. You are quite certain you would not prefer to stay a while longer. There are sure to be festivities at which we, you would be the guest of honor, and I guess not. Nope, our job isn't done. Very well. There are other ways in which we must celebrate by rejoining the fight of freedom in Garabania, for one. Short though our time has been, we have all come to regard this land and our people as our own, I think. But we have, have done what which we came here to do. Word of Doma's liberation will soon spread through the Empire, and we must seize this opportunity to rekindle the flames of liberation in the West. We dare not allow the Imperials a moment respite, lest they march on Doma again. For the sake of all concerned, we must leave immediately. Did I hear you right? You are leaving? I'm afraid so. We've got our own battle to fight. What about you? Will you be heading back to the steppe? Yes, the war here has ended and there's no cause to remain. The Oanir and the Thrall have already withdrawn. I will follow them anon, and I wish to bid you farewell. But I wish to bid you, bid you farewell first. The Blue, too, must return to their homes. But we will be back. Doma has need of merchants and builders. We are eager to offer our services. And just like that, our grand fellowship is broken. Without ceremony or pomp, you steal off into the dark. No matter, plenty to be getting on with. Places to be, people to rob, and so on. The captain never was one for mingling. I'm a pirate. Give me a song at the tavern and I'll be happy. Hobnobbing with Lord Hien? Nay. <sighs> no taste for the finer things. In any event, we need not part ways here. If you are for Kugane, we would be happy to take you. Her waters are, have always been fruitful. I wish you well on your journey, my friends. May you ever walk in crimson. 
Thank you, Serena, for everything. May the calming speed you on your way until we meet again. Not remains undone. Done? You're ready to depart? Yes, we're ready. To Gagani, then. Have everything? Good. We all need to weigh anchor before the Sekise Gumi arrive. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for what you did. Give my regards to the old Don. I uh, went into my inventory. Oh. I didn't need that because of the thing. Okay. It's... By that. I would like to return to the Zara Postes. Inform Tataru of our coming. She and Hancock should be waiting for us at the Ruby Resort. Then in here we part ways. Best of luck to you and yours in your piratical endeavors, I suppose. Where is the nearest Aetherite shard in the markets, which I think I need to go this way for. I could just use the Aetherite and then... <laughs> but using that in town seems silly. Let's go on to... Inventory for reasons. Greetings, Sonder, sir. Will you be entering the Ruby Bazaar office? I can't remember if this is the or not. Welcome back, everybody, and congratulations on a job well done. It was a pleasure to ever see this smiling face, Tataru. This, this is yours, Hancock, though, Rasho, and I are sincerely grateful for your assistance. The pleasure is all mine, Master Avlino, I assure you. Anyway, you'll be glad to hear that I've already chartered passage for you back to Limsa Lamensa. The ship is to leave port this very day, but the captain has agreed to wait until the four of you have boarded. Four of us? You mean to stay here in Kugane? Yes, I give some thought and I realize that even with the Doma free, there's still a need of a woman in the middle, maybe even more than before, considering all the, friend, all the friends and alliances you made. As I told her many times before, I would be more than willing to assist you. And as I told you many times before, I am not about to let you worm your way into our affairs and exploit our connections for your personal gain. Must you always presume the worst? So there you have it. I will remain here for now. You needn't worry. I, I'm a regular at the distillery and a half a dozen other local institutions. Everybody loves me. So go, go. Don't let me keep you. Buy your supplies and souvenirs while while you can. When you finish, make haste to the docks. Period number two, to be precise. I'll be waiting for you there. Well, you two do business. I'm uh, just going to head off and speak to Tataru. I'm a simple man.
it was about get brand spanking new gear because I'm almost 70, which means I could do my level 70 monk quest. First arrive as always. Hopefully the others will not be far behind. All packed and ready to go? To the best of my knowledge, yes. Apologies for the wait. The task of tying up loose ends invariably takes longer than one allows. Happily, however, all now seems to be in order. Then there's nothing left to do but to board the ship. Do try and enjoy the journey, won't you? It may be your last chance to rest for a while. That would depend on the good captain's choice of route. As ever, Tataru, I pray you take all due precautions while making your inquiries. Better to avoid the local authorities altogether than risk a repeat of our Ishgardian episode. And what sordid episode is this, pray tell? Not to speak of, I assure you. <laughs> you there! Hold that ship! Good again. What are you two doing here? Shouldn't you be in Doma? Shouldn't you? You left with nary a word. We half wondered if I had done something to offend. Upon learning that you had departed for Kugane, we immediately resolved to give chase. Our comrades can manage affairs in our absence, and it seemed the least we could do. You mean you came all this way just to say goodbye? That too, I. But there was something else I felt I had to say. You helped us win our freedom, and for that I cannot thank you enough. Accordingly, after we have established an interim government and so forth, I think it only meet that we repay the favor by dispatching our own forces to Eorzea. If you would have us. We harbored no expectations of such generous aid. And as there is no telling when the Empire might strike back at you, would it not be wiser to concentrate your resources on the defense of Doma? I had a mind to pursue a more aggressive defense. To which we will send forth Shinobi to provinces far and wide to spread word of our victory, that we might inspire others to take up arms as we did. Even the Empire has its limits. If the Garleans cannot be certain where and when the next rebellion will take place, how can they commit another force to Doma? And besides, so long as this debt remains unpaid, how am I to face myself? And Gorsetzer. As you wish. I will relay your offer to the Eorzean Alliance. All of Doma is counting on you to finish what we have started. You have it in you, Lys, to seize the future you want. Never forget. I won't, Yen. Not your words or anything else. Everything that led us here, that will drive us forward, I'll carry it with me always. And that's a promise. <laughs> I will hold you to that. Go with them to Eorzea. Tell their people of our triumph and of our pledge to stand with them. By your leave, I shall pave the way for our new alliance. Hurry up, you lot! The ship's about to weigh anchor! It seems our time is at an end. Go well, my friends. And may we meet again beneath a western sky.
Meanwhile, in the royal palace of Alamigo, I always knew that woman was unfit for command. Aye, when you think of all the resources we poured into that hole, and for what? Beast yet lives. Mayhap it is time I sharpen my claws. I wonder, will you walk into my parlor once more? For Dolorem Lupus, come at the command of the Lord Viceroy to present the prisoner taken by the Cranier Lupi. Dossier Galvus, I presume. It's true what they say. You do have the eyes of a monster. A ravenous, insatiable fiend. You, give the butcher your weapon. My... Yes, my lord. My lord, this is... A reward given in recognition of your service. I trust it will prove more capable than its former owner. I... I swear, I'll not disappoint you, my lord. Good. Now. Silence that mewling little piglet. I would not hear another sound pass her lips. Until I strip the fat from her. Back in Eorzea. Back in Eorzea last. Ready to pick up where we left off and finish the fight. We're not who we were when we left. We're stronger and wiser. So let's do it. Let's go get back to Alamigo and defeat Xenos once and for all. We got rings. Home is where the heart is. Alpha is in Eosia. Here we are, home at last. I must say the journey pa passed more quickly than I had expected. That would be due to the absence of unworldly interference, I suspect. I should be glad if we did not speak of that unpleasantness again. Ahem. But in spite of all that and more, we, we return better for the experience and, more importantly, triumphant. Indeed, and with Doma freed of imperial oppression, it is only right that we turn our thoughts to the plight of Alamigo. Then I am, um, I'm all for that, obviously, but I think we should go and see the refugees at Revenant's Toll before doing anything else. They'll be thrilled to hear what we've accomplished, and it best, sounds best coming from you. Thank you. I shall do as you suggest.
I see him. I'm, I'm not late. Merwin! Admiral, what are you doing here? He stalled in our trading company informed me of your impending arrival. I have tidings I thought best to share with you in person. For Kirbanya? Aye. The alliance still holds the wall, despite several imperial counterattacks, but we have been unable to press further into occupied territory. Commander Kemp and his men, meanwhile, have made great strides toward rebuilding their depleted ranks. They have even taken it upon themselves to attempt some few operations with mixed results, I'm sorry to say. It was a complication arising from one such venture which moved me to seek you out. Huh? During a mission to transport wounded resistance fighters in the rise to the Rising Stones, when Kryl Baldessian has who was taken prisoner. Kryl? Do you know where she's being held? They do not, but our comrades have informed were informed at once, and I'm told Sancred is in Girabanya looking for her as we speak. How could this have happened? We must seek out Sancred without delay. Nay. Raoul taught me better than that. It'd be unwise to act without further acquiring a full understanding of the situation. Thank you for informing us. Tired though we may be, we must make haste to Castrum Orions. And then pray excuse us, Admiral. Lady Yugiri? I love Merwib. There, there's a reason why I... Why I... My main is uh, part of the Maelstrom. Not for the fact that that uh, I've uh, shipped him with um, Grind Marshal Sl Slofferson, but uh, just because I think Morwib is badass. We're going to cast some Morians. There you are. You have heard the news. In broad strokes from Admiral Bluffuswin. Bluffuswin. What happened? Quail and a squadron of resistance fighters who were escorting Yestrola and several other wounded to the Rising Stones for further treatment when they were ambushed by Imperial forces. Our involved and his men fought valiantly, but in the chaos... I make no excuses. We failed to protect her. Do not be so hard on yourself. You protected your shoulder and the others, did you not? Tell us about the attack. It was the skulls. They knew the path across the wall we hadn't found. A path across the wall we hadn't found. We thought we were safe once we reached the Black Shrouds. We weren't expecting an ambush. During the fighting, I caught a glimpse of their leader's memories. It was all planned. Advantage of having a walker in the field. I'm not as strong as the Echo as Esogos is, of course. Half, half the time it's enough to knock me on my arse, like I'd taken a dose of concentrated ether. So you walked in Fodola's memories. What did you see? A woman promising the world education, training, citizenship, all that, and more if she had, if she but sold her soul, a traitor to her people, a pretender of her masters. It was Zenos himself that gave the order, told her to return with Kryl but Destian alive. Our agents have been carefully monitoring the Imperial communications since the attack, but have yet to intercept any transmissions making reference to Kryl or her current whereabouts. If their owners were meant to bring Kryl back alive, we can save her if we move quickly enough. As they say, time is the essence, which is why I intend to slip past enemy lines and see what information I can uncover on my own. In the meantime, it is up to you and your allies to command the Imperials' undivided attention. Lots of shouting and explosions and so forth. Keep them distracted, and I will find her. Very well. I wish I could do more to aid you, but I understand. Commander Kemp is on his way to the castrum as we speak for a meeting with General Alden. If you were... If you hurry, you can find him on the road and discuss the situation beforehand.
think Essekos and I will go, are going to go to see Conrad like he suggested. You all wait here. All right. Uh, quick break while I uh, uh, refresh my beverage. Be right back. All right, back to it. Keep forgetting, I'm trying to, to speed through this as best I can. Well, well, isn't it a pleasant surprise? It fills my heart to, ooh, with joy to see you two hale and healthy. Welcome, Mom Lee, Essigo, so I'm sure you've heard about Cry by now. That's why we're here. We're still not sure what to think about it, but we're sa safer. Definitely safer somehow. I have no doubt that you will. It'll take you look stronger for your time in the Far East. Last, and that's good news for Cry. I'd like to think so, but enough about me. How's everything with you and the Resistance? Better than when you last saw us, and no mistake, our involved's been in a godsend. Him and Minago are all the and all the other young blokes have achieved so much in such a short time. We are blessed to receive the support of the Flames, Flames Alamegan Brigade, who have been instrumental in freeing our countrymen from labor camps throughout Garabanya, as well as some political prisoners from the city proper, believe it or not. Together with the refugees returning from Old Da and elsewhere, we've had no shortage of able-bodied men and women eager to join the cause. I knew we wouldn't stop fighting even after what happened in the Reach. I knew you wouldn't stop fighting even after what happened in the Reach. Of course I have it, I suppose, though we've come a long way, we still have far to go, and we'll fight for it. and we'll fight for every ilm, and sooner or later we'll get to Alamigo. But listen to me prattling on when we should be making haste to cast memoriams. There's no point in you telling me everything now when you'll only have to say it again with the Flame General's benefit. Right. I'll go on ahead and tell the others that we're not far off. Pippin! Hubs! I know I've been going so long. Good 
You spoke with Zankard then? Good. Take hard. If anyone can track her down, it's him. I believe I hear uh, Commander Kim's party approaching. If you're ready to address Father and the others, let us be at it. Dang. All right. I am not ready. We are going to make a uh, quick trip to Alagana. And I'm going to get some equipment upgrades. Professor is well again. The time is come. I will issue Theobald my challenge. He and his minions are use Rushrock as their hideout. And who should bear the letter there? I'll go. You, brother. Is this wise? What if they set upon you again? No. Better that I go. Master, wait. If you deliver the letter, it will most certainly end in blood. As it goes, you go. See, yeah, I told you. <laughs> that a hostage. They can't pull up no dirty tricks. I oh, dare try Asagos again. If they try anything, I'll beat their face. Very well, I'll trust you this letter. Take it to Rushrock and see that the above stands. Here's Rushrock. So here's one of the many reasons why you do your job quest. Because in order to do this job quest, you would have had to done all the previous ones. Besides the fact that they're that for the most part, at least uh, for the, the previous two expansions, doing your uh, job quests uh, may give you a skill that you can only obtain by doing the job quest. Well, here, I do get one called Brotherhood, but I also get the Pacifist Attire Coffer. Seems weird that battle, battle armor is referred to as Pacifist. The Pacifist, this, and this is level 70 armor. Right now, I'm on a um, main story quest, which is... Where is it? Oh, I'm in a main story quest, which is level 70, uh, 67. Seven. So any rewards I get it will be equivalent to like a uh, minimum level of 66 or, or something like that. Well, 70 is going to be much higher. One. Obviously, once I hit uh, finish Stormblood, I'm going to immediately gloat. Or not Stormblood. Yeah, Stormblood. Um, immediately going to go to Rogger's Reach, where a vendor will have opened up, which can allow me to get augmented scavian gear with Poetics. I purchased those Poetics, uh, and each of those items are eye level 400. Which essentially will take me most of the way through Shatterbringers. Not all the way, but most of the way. Ah, I remember you, friend of the pathetic monks. You're bold to come here. What do you want? 
Uh, yeah, I just got a letter. Read in a week, fellas. Bye! Letter of challenge. Huh. Dated practice befitting a dying style and a lot of effort simply to lose. I accept. Indeed, I anticipated I would have to deal the stubborn fool another beating. You know, I will be at schism, and you may tell Wittergelt, nay, my dear cousin Theodred, that he would do well to bring a coffin. Here we are with the level 70 duty. The letter is delivered. My thanks, brother. I have invited the people of Alagana. They too shall bear witness. The fight is to be single combat, but my opponent's scruples are not. Well, gee, we know this, but so we must be prepared for anything. Whatever should happen, I am confident we will prevail. For as I, tra for as I trained, I awakened to a new power, the power to protect is what he was going for all along. Really, a crowd? Well, if you determine to make a spectacle of your demise, who am I to stop you? I'll, I'll let all present witness the death of the Fist of Rogar. Hear me, people of Alamigo. A feeble faith such as this charlatan pedals will allow you not. Only a strong and absolute ruler can save you. Only I can save you. Those words may have well come from the Empire. The people need not another tyrant. Nay, what they need? Hope. And hope they may yet, yet have. Hope everlasting in their hearts. That none can take away. So I beg you, brother, give up your aspirations for the throne. Join me in the reviving the Fist of Rogar, as is your right. The time for deception is past, and one man I know wields the lance as you do. So take off your, this mask that you wear, the mask of a dead prince, and show me your face, Audrey, my brother. Ha 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 ha! Audrey, long has it been since last I heard that name. I had always thought you dimwitted, but it seems your memory still serves you well, at least. Why do you so desire our destruction? So much so that you fool even yourself. Like you, I am an orphan. The temple was the only home I knew. But that home was taken from me, laid to waste at Theodric's command. The monks hailed that the realm's greatest warriors could not withstand the Mad King's might. It was then that I knew, knew that blood counts for more than all else. All the training we undergo is ho to hone flesh and mind. None of it is worth spit in the face of absolute power. And those who are born without it, those like me, will ever be made to suffer. 
But you, you had it all from the beginning, born into the royal family, with the blood of kings coursing through your veins. You had the power to lead and to rule, and still you turned your back on your nation's liberation. For what? For the sake of a fist that doesn't protect, that couldn't protect itself. I was nobody, just one of the Griffin's lowly doubles. But if you will not rise up for our nation, then I will. And you have no right to stop me, you who have forfeited your own birthright. Hear me, brother. Our blood defines who we, not who we are. The path we walk is ours to choose, and I have chosen not to destroy, but to protect. Hallow words from someone born to power. You will never understand what it means to be weak. Never. I am Wittergelt, a brother of the Fist of Rogger. That is who I am. No more, no less. I live to revive the Fist of Rogger, and by my fist, I will prove it to you. Well, now the professor said there'd be a spectacle, but I, I certainly won't say no to some action. I've been itching for it since our match was cancelled. Enough, Audrey. Our goals are the same. Our methods must but differ. Together we can achieve much. We can restore our order. Audrey is dead. I am Theobald, Theodric's true heir and rightful king of Alamigo, and by your death I shall claim my throne. To resort to the tools of our oppression, you must stop. You will stop not for power, is it? twisted existence and we must straighten him out. Come my friends, we fight for hope. All right, he's out of the way. Get these mages out of the way, too.
Oh, the fire dancer, I think it was, right? Why do you guys get LBs? They should have given me an LB bar too. I don't think it was fair that him and the Witter got the LBs. I'll be staying for the limit break for those who are a little confused. And Audrey, when next we fight, fight, let it be as brothers. Let it be face to face. I am weak. Too weak to bear the first Ralgar alone. Yet come what may, I will not give up. Each time I fall, I will pick myself up. From my heart, I ask this of you. Will you not join me? Help me to rebuild a new fist, one that knows not highborn or low, that discerns not shadow or light, a fist of Rogger, where all may belong. A fiery zeal kindles hope within people's hearts, and doubt not, but that many will come to you seeking strength, the strength to protect that which they hold dear, and by their own hands. Now then, let us return to Alagana. There's still much to do, not the least of all, thanking our putilous friends for their most timely arrival. Yeah. We needed more Lalas. Witnessing your furious struggle could not help but wish that I too could contribute with my fists. 
My son, I suspect, felt the same way when he chose to join the resistance. But as he walked his own path, so too must I. As a man of science, it is my duty to pursue truth in immutable, and the knowledge may one day benefit future generations. I did my small part for Winnegeld's cause, but know that it is mostly you, my friend, who helped him to forge ahead in the face of adversary. You picked him up when fate cast him down. And for that I am grateful. You possess a noble heart, and it's more than makes up for your lackluster mind. Really, Eric? With that, I shall head back to Uldar. As fine as a distraction has been to the waste watch young bloods come into their own, my research will not advance itself. As ever, should you wish to partake of my knowledge, do not hesitate to come to me. With your help, we have managed to weather another storm. I dare say we've all earned a moment's respite. You know, I can't help but think that Master is too nice sometimes. After all that Theobald Bald or Audrey fellow did to him. He goes and begs the villagers to tend his wounds. So complete is his uh, dedication to reviving the fist of Rogger, he wastes no energy on such things as anger and retribution. Right. At any rate, right. There's nothing, nothing standing in our way now. We're free to get on with our mission. That we are, and that, and what we. We've begun in Alagano. We'll, we shall continue in all corners of Garabanya, uh, never resting until the Fist of Rogar thrives throughout the realm once more. I'd say Master has his work cut out for him. He's going to need all the support he can muster. So let us ever strive to grow stronger, the better to provide that support. After all, I wouldn't do to always rely on us ghosts. Damn right. So what are we waiting for? Let's go train. What? Are you? But we're just... <sighs> Excuse us, Essigos, and thank you from the bottom of our hearts for everything. It was a fine speech, spoken from the heart. Lack polish, to be sure, but I'll come with age and experience. Uh, and, and as good a drubbing as we gave them, the corpse brigade will be laying low for a while. As will I, I think. At my age, a moment of fun costs a week of soreness. <laughs> yes. You must admit, though, every so often it's good to hurl yourself into a real battle. A real battle? I don't know about you, but it scarcely broke a sweat. Oh, then I suppose I was simply imagining all your huffing and puffing. <laughs> oh, well said, though. It is, it is to part. It's tough. Well, sad it is to part. It's past time we head home. Uh, but I hope to continue this fine exchange with your friend monks, the Zenta Nortaka, especially. Young and lithe as they are, I believe they harm such pugilistic potential. It'll be my pleasure to personally help them explore it. <laughs> God, would you make... Could you make it any more obvious? Till next time, take care, Esagos, and thanks for showing those old bones a good time. The recent trials have taught me much about myself, about the extent of my debts. Though through adversity, adversity, none of you abandoned me. I nearly abandoned my dream, and never again. I owe it to those who stood by me. To many I am indebted, and to you most of all. You are my master in all but a name, ever leading by example, teaching me strength and grace. I pray that you will help many others, as you have helped me. I shall resume my mission, with my disciples at my side. Together we will spread the fist across the land. The journey will be long, but, but come what may, I will see it through, for I am not alone. Fare you well, my brother, till next we meet. Do 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 do. Wintergelson, yielding spirit, strove to fire inside you. This concludes my quest for the Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. In order to undertake the, the next series of quests, you must first meet the following requirements. You must register a product key for, for Shadowbringers to your account. 
You must complete the main scenario quest, Shadow Burgers. What did I say about about the final quest of the 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 initial launch of uh, of an expansion? Is the title of the expansion? Well, the title of the next expansion is Shadow Bringers, and it asked me to do Shadow Bringers for the main scenario quest, which is the last one, which I'll be at eighty for. That's because there's no Jack Quest of Shadowbringers. In fact, it's never really indicated that the, that the job quest is available when you hit 80. It's there. It doesn't really unlock things. It's just a quest. It's really just a side quest. Um, but it's good. I, I enjoyed myself uh, when I did it on my main. Uh, in the meantime, instead of job quests, you have role quests, which is really just all story based uh, which is one of the reasons why I want a healer, a tank, a magic DPS and a physical DPS, my monk uh, for uh, leveling through when I'm leveling through Shadowbringers because I want to do all four of the role quests to get to the point where it's relevant it just to kind of like sync everything up so I want everything to essentially hit 80 get to to this point where we get the shadow bringers and there's a whole lot more after it Fun. anyways eric will have it eric will be back at the goldsmith guilds in um Ulta. all right so i got some new armor so first things first make sure i have Room for the armor, <laughs> my armory chest. Home, best, home guards. Oh. These are basically the the brass knuckles that you know you have you seen Lise was wearing the these gloves which had kind of had metal along the the knuckles. It's basically what this are except with a like glowing thing in the end. But I think I'm at level two ninety one. Hey. I still need to replace stuff. So what I'll probably end up doing is, oh, we'll see. Anyways. This is 290. Anyways, where were we? We're doing main scenario quests, the back back to customerians. Is this diable? Is this diable? This is not diable. I, I think there's a way to, to get diable versions, but it's not. It's fine. There you are. And there's Commander Kemp, I see. I know you're eager to speak with our next move, but we must first hear uh, more of your last. Tell us of your deeds in Doma. 
Late black transition while expedition happens. Everyone's assembled. Join me in welcoming our Scion allies. But recently returned from their mission to the Far East. We have been most eager to hear a first hand account of your time there. Eventful as we understand it was. Very well. Allow me. Exposition. We know what happened. <laughs> we don't need it recounted. Such victories are rarely won without sacrifice, but the prize is worth the price. Doma, free after all these years. Bloody hells. Flooding their own castle for a better chance of victory. We could learn a thing or two from that land. Our agents report a flurry of communications between Garlemald and Alamigo in recent days. It is plain they are in the midst of deliberating their response to the Doman uprising. Good. Every Imperial unit in occupied territory will be on the lookout for civil unrest. The fear of leaving critical locations undefended will make commanders think twice about committing their forces, giving us a chance to seize the initiative. We have a chance, I Mayhap the last one we're ever going to get. While we've done our best to rebuild the resistance, the Imperials have only increased their efforts to root out sympathizers. If we keep on playing for smaller prizes, it's only a matter of time before they crush us again. And that we won't come back from. A swift advance seems best for all concerned. Not least poor Mistress Cryo. Then let us waste no more time. The campaign for Alamegan liberation begins now. Our first objective will be to capture Castellum Valadina. Take the bridge, and the whole of the fringes will be ours. From there, we can push east towards the peaks. I name this operation Rolger's Beacon. For as Rolger once sent his star to guide our ancestors to these lands, so too shall it see us home. Now, because they're no longer VO, the success of the operation is paramount. So long as the Imperials hold the Castrum Validina, the main host cannot advance. Zeno's knows this, and that is why he's ordered for Dola and his men to see to the bridge's defenses. So we're going to fight the Skulls again. The Butcher is not to be underestimated. She is decisive, ruthless, and feared by foes and friends alike. But we have a plan to defeat her. First, we send an alliance force down the main road, signaling our intention to mount an all-out assault. The garrison will muster their forces and prepare a protracted battle. However, we will soon find that we are, we are ill-prepared for their counterattack. Our men will begin to break rank and flee. I see. Show them your backs and give them a target too tempting not to pursue. Aye, for Dolo is too aggressive not to oppress the advantage. She will order her men to give chase. We lure them as far... As far as East End, where the commanders will rally their forces and attempt to hold their ground. If all goes as planned, we should be able to keep the greater part of their garrison occupied. Leaving us to tackle the bridge's main defenders, very clever, I'm sure, but what are we to do if the Imperials smell a rant and return before they're taken in place? I don't need you, you to take Veldina, Commander Kemp. All I need is for you to fl fly your flag from its tower. You mean to trick them into believing the bridge was fallen? Aye. We convince them Veladina is lost, hit them hard with our reinforcements, and watch them go running from the hills. Then, when the dust has settled, we regroup at the Castellum. What say you? It's a bold plan, but a good one. We'll do it. In that case, you shall have the we shall both support both the Resistance and the Alliance forces. 
As it goes, Lise Arnvold, I ask that you accompany Cameron to camp. Alize and I will remain with the Flame General. We will return to Rago's Reach to make our preparations. As soon as they are complete, we will join you in the field. Godspeed. And they teleport you to Rogers Reach. How 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 kind of them to do that? In case you haven't noticed, the flag flying above Veladina is bloody massive. It will take a dozen men to change it and fall too long besides. But there's no need for all of that, right, Minago? Not so long as I have a griffin and a satchel of glamour prisms, no. Mm -hmm. Arnvald, you're in charge of the runners between us and the Alliance. No link pearls. Lise, I want you to look in on the, on the squadrons. Make sure they've got everything they need. Everybody clear? Aye, sir. All forces are to depart for Castellum Corby when ready. That will be all. Well, Eskos, stay with me for a moment, if you would. There are a few men I'd like you to look in on personally. Each of them have lost people, and I will tell that it weighs on their hearts. There have been a lot of new faces since last you were here, so it's best if I would just tell you where to look. One's an officer you'll find in the barber. Another's an well, older fellow who likes to pass the time on the shore of Starfall. The last is a fiery young lad from Little Alamigo who, I'm told, trains by himself by the river in the fringes. The fringes. You'll know them when you see them. Come and find me when you're finished. Wait, right, I know you. Lieutenant Winsmall, the Twin Adder. It is an honor to meet you. I have living mouth, hand to mouth, and, uh, but decided to enlist in the flames after I heard tales of your daring do. And now, as fate would have it, I've been sent here to join the you know, fight of my homeland's liberation. Ah, but this is no time to talk. I've got to prepare for the operation. Take care, Lieutenant. Lieutenant will give those Imperial horses what for. I see, but it isn't the lad who helped me find the ward I placed, misplaced. Ah, but there I go again treating you as an equal. It wasn't, wasn't until after you were gone that one of my comrades pulled me aside and told me it was only the bleeding hero of Eosia who'd taken time out of his busy day to help me. Well, what is done is done, and know that I will fight with every arms of my strength in this coming battle, and the time in the next. May Happer will serve to repay the favor. Are you well? I mean, I've done some pretty great deeds and everything, but uh, in, in the end, I'm still a venturer, you know. I'm humble enough to do that, a blooded youth. Let's go to my right. I doubt you remember me, and I'll never forget you. Saved my life in little El Migo, you did. Lurid and the rest of us had got into our heads as if we had enough crystals. 
You could summon Ralgar, like the Elmantra, uh, summon their god. Thankfully, you put a stop to that. Ever hear about what happened to Wildred? Join the Braves when they came, came calling, only to turn up dead one day. Never found out how or why, but I reckon it doesn't matter. Dead's dead, after all. Oh. But at least he died doing what he thought was right, and maybe that's the best folks like us can hope for. Eh? Not that I'm in a hurry, mind. Ooh. Maybe I should have made some coffee before I started this. Maybe when I uh, do the break, I'll uh, brew up some coffee. I have a bite to eat and then resume. I'll be going up as close as I can to recording comes out loud. So you basically get me streaming until about seven. Hi, Sater Sun or Saturn. Ooh, Skyward Sword Sword uh, released. Sadly, I never actually completed um, Breath of the Wild, mainly because. Um, I got distracted and, um, I, I'm not that good at the game. <laughs> I'm not a council game player, really. <laughs> if I had a word with the men I mentioned then? As I'm sure you noticed, there is another another thing in common aside from tragedy. They've touched each of their lives in one way or another, but that's not the reason I, I wanted you to speak with them. The man who lived in Garibani his entire life, who bore witness to the realities of the occupation for 20 unbroken years. The man who fled Alamigo in search of new life, who swore to serve another nation only to, to only for fate to conspire to send him back here. A youth born on foreign so soil who never knew his parents' homeland, yet nevertheless felt kinship with our cause. Three men, three stories, three reasons, yet all belong to the resistance. In growing larger, have grown more diverse, and while there is good in, in that, is also the potential for strife and discord. That'd take a special sort to, to lead such men in Alamigo, don't you think? Okay, so as it goes, he knows one thing. He is not a leader. He basically says, tell me who to punch and I'll punch him. So I'm going to say a good thing they've got you. For now, I, but not forever. And to be frank, I don't always know what to say to the ones who left, not to mention the youth. Yeah, I I, I really want to play uh, Legend of Zelda games for the story. It's just that I suck at the gameplay. So, that's the thing about, about Legend of Zelda games. I like them. I think they're good. <laughs> it's just I'm not good at them. Um, and yeah, the Breath of the Wild doesn't really give you much of direction. And But I think that's kind of one of the things which some people enjoy about it is because of how open the world is. Uh, and then it's just like managing equipment and, and you, making sure you have the right equipment and then the fights can get kind of tricky and then... I need a mouse and keyboard, man. <laughs> if I need to click on the thing, I want to be able to click on the thing instead of having to aim your camera at it. I'm just not a console gamer. I'll play play console games on occasion on my Switch, but not often. Uh, Pokemon is probably the 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 extent of the console games that I'm actually decent at. On, I'm not good at any game, or, or let me correct. I'm not great at any game. 
I can be good. I can be okay. I can be decent. I'm just, I'm just never great. And you know what? I don't care. I'm, I'm doing it for fun. <laughs> I'm not going to stress over how well I can do something. If I don't want to play a game, I won't play a game. Anyways, moving on. Trying to get through this story here. I'm trying to get to the, through the story here just so I can spend tombstones. <laughs> For now, I, but not forever. And to be frank, I don't always know what to say to the ones who left, not to mention the youth. Nay, the resistance needs a leader with a wider reel, someone who's not lived their whole life in Garabania, who know death and hardship, but not been ground down by them. I, as you may have guessed, have been uh, thinking of asking Lise, but it will be her decision in the end. I trust I needn't say that this conversation is just between you and me. Good, Ed. Right then. Best head to Castrum Corvi, or what remains of it, rather? See, I have, a, I have this thing where I will get, depending on the game, I'll get obsessed with it and play, play it for several months and just that. Um, I, I've had stints where I just played Stardew. In fact, when I finally got into playing Final Fantasy 14. I haven't played WoW and I don't know how long. And that was my game. That was the game I played for the longest time. Last night I canceled my subscription. And I think I canceled my subscriptions a couple times, mainly for monetary reasons, and that was like it. Plus, I was playing something else, so I wasn't playing at all anyways. But then I got back pretty quickly. But this time, I don't know. I'm so obsessed with this that it's like... I mean, I may go back to WoW at some point in time, uh, but I also think that my original, because all I was playing is WoW, and I had I had set goals, I had set things that I wanted to do. I wanted to get one of one of every spec, one character for every spec up to max level, and then start working on transmog farming. It's basically what I do when I get to to max level, and maybe farm some other things, maybe a mount or something like that. Doing the current game content to to get the the transmog, so I wasn't looking for high uh, for end game stuff. It was all just these like little neat little things, and to experience the story. I, next time I go back, I may be like I'm just popping on Windjam, my my original main, and just that's that's the character I play, and maybe I will pick a total of twelve characters that I play across. As a, uh, a just so that I can experience like mage, monk, etc., so I at least have that class diversity. Now, if WoW had the job system that Final Fantasy fourteen have, I would have just have one character, and then I would be like on my whim of what what class do I want to play today. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen when, with what my relationship with between me and WoW will be in the future. But all right, we got a solo duty. Lead the way while the other units launch their own separate attacks. Remember, we need need to hold out until Monago sees to the flag. Yeah, a lot of people aren't liking some of the systems in. In um, WoW, um, especially when things like the only reason anybody really does Torghast is to get Solash so that they can craft legendaries and then they add these domination sockets. Honestly, I miss the days in WoW when there was one legendary, which was a massive grind. Otherwise, you just had gear. Like standard gear, there was no titan forging, no uh, uh, war forging even. 
with the, of of a chance to have boosted stats. They just put the gear in the game, and then they had this uh, like uh, uh, expansion long quest for for a legendary, which I would really like them to do a similar system to what they have for for relics here and that's essentially what the legendary quest was was like uh and we're talking like mop uh miss pandaria uh, legendary quest like mop and, and wad where anybody can do it everybody can get get a legendary it wasn't like one specific legendary that really only works on one class honestly that sucks it's like if you like playing mage and it's daggers you don't get a legendary you want a legendary so what if they did it like the relic weapons where you go and you do this series of quests and you get a weapon for your class and it's the only difference to the quest is what the weapon is Anyways, are you going to order any moment now? All right, let's go. I got my Stormblood, tra tra Stormblood trailer uh, um, gear on. My transmog, I will forever call it transmog. Good. It's the waiting that drives me mad. Standing around, knowing what's to come. I'll never get used to it. Calm down, Nargo. You're making her nervous. We've come this far, haven't we? We just need to make it the rest of the way. Right. Is that involved? Looks like the bastards went for the bait. The bridge is ours for the taking. Now remember, Monago, I want you to make for the tower as soon as you see an opening and get that flag flying. We'll see to the fighting. I won't let you down, sir. Come then. Rolga's star shall burn bright this day. Keeping the volume up. I don't understand how a Nanta move, a Nanta move, really. They slither, but their speed, I don't, I don't quite understand. But that's okay. I am I have been leveled down to 69 so I don't have brotherhood. Oh, I should probably do that too, shouldn't I? Kemp is black mage, which means that Jeezily gives him the ability to stay in back. Conrad Farsight. The sign of centuries. He's General Alden. Must have his hands full.
They left a total force behind. Nothing we can't handle. Grab cannons. I got you are involved. Think you're clever with all your tricks. Think again. None of you are leaving here alive. Yeah, you missed. Are you shooting at with those? My bridge, you're not taking it from me. I like how you're doing all that, and like, I'm nowhere near those sections. Well, I suppose you were just doing that just to knock me into it. How is he? Nago made it. We've got to hold on a little longer.
God damn you! No more running! No more hiding! Let's finish this! Look! The flag! The bridge is ours! El amigo! El amigo! Let them go, Lise. We've done what we came here to do. That's enough for now. is falling? Impossible! We have them on the run! Forward! No mercy! Regroup! Regroup! We have to regroup! All units, fall back! I want to know is how do they actually communicate with their masks covering their face like that? Like, do they have like Magitek voice amplifiers or something? Commander, the fourth cohort has been routed. We'll be at the mercy of the enemy's reinforcements if we don't fall back now. Idiot! We have the stronger force by far. Don't be taken in by their tricks. Or would you rather tell Zenos you lost to this rabble? No, but if the snakes betray us in the confusion, we'll have no way out. I'm begging you, Commander. Give the order or we'll all die here. As common traitors who drank of muddied waters, for all the good it did us. School's with me! The day is theirs, and so is this bastard bridge. Someone bring the snake. It's our first victory, isn't it? And that has to be worth something. It's a shame for Dolok out of way, but we did what we came here for to do. 
I have to remind myself it's the first step, and it's a big one. We're going to take it back, all of it, one ilm at a time, if we have to. Uh, I'm going to take a quick, like, uh, 10 to 15 minute break, however long it takes me to make some coffee. And uh, walk around for a bit. Stay uh, up. Uh, but I will be back to the stream, so stay tuned. I'll be back in a bit, and we'll continue streaming. Uh, but uh, yeah, 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> 